All right, for this design, I'm going to choose a custom size that is paper and is landscape. So I'm going to come on over here where it says custom size and I'm going to select inches and in the width, I'm going to type in 11 wide by eight high. So over here, you can customize your design. You can choose any size that you want. Uh, once you're done, you can say create new design. So, and here is your workspace, which is the uh, size of paper uh, landscape. Now, if you want to check the size, just come right all over here to file and you can uh, see the size. It says 11 inches by eight inches. I'm now going to go into text and I'm going to add some text to my page. So I'll just add that text there in here. I'm going to type in daddy. Now you can use any font that you like for this design. I'm going to choose a thicker looking font, maybe Anton. So I'll just search for Anton. Here it is right here. And I do want to make the letters a little bit thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into effects and I'm going to select outline and for the outline color, I'm going to make it black and that's going to close the gap. So if I toggle this a little bit more higher, it's actually going to close the gap like that. Now, if you don't want to close the gap and you really want to see the uh, form of the letters, the other option that you can do is you can just grab a shape and you can uh, grab that shape and just close the gap and change the color to black. So you can do that as well, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually just going to go back into effects and I'm going to select this option for the outline and I'm just going to make it really, really thick so that it closes all of that white space. I'm now going to come up to spacing and I'm going to increase the letter spacing to allow for space in between the letters. I'm now going to take this and make this a little bit larger. And and I'm going to come to share and I'm going to download this. I'm going to download this as transparent. And I'll add another page. I'm going to grab that downloaded image and bring it right back into Canva. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select a background to put behind my text. So I'm going to come over to elements and I'm going to place this background right here on my background. Now this isn't entirely white. Uh, if you want to, you can select, you can select any background. If you want to use a white background, maybe you want to use a background with a pattern. That's okay too. Now, if you find a background that isn't white and you want to make it white, you can always select the image, go to edit and use duotone to change the color, but I'm going to leave it as gray. I like this kind of grayish option for this specific design. I'm going to make this a little bit larger because I want it to fill up my whole screen and I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to move that image behind my text right here. So I'm going to select that background image and I'm now going to go to my apps and we're going to search for image cutout maker. This is what it looks like right here. When you select it, just like any other app, it's going to tell you what it has access to with regards to your data and modifying your designs. Once you've read over and you are okay with that, just click on the purple button to open it. Now, if it opens up at this screen, just go back one and just make sure
your image is selected and you're able to select this image. Remember, we're working. The first thing that we have to select is our background. So I'm going to say you selected image and this is what's going to happen. It's going to automatically select a shape to make that cut up. But if we notice down here, it says cut out type. We're going to select image. And because we downloaded our text and then re-uploaded it, it's now an image and that's what we're going to use. Now you can also use the text options, but um, they're not, you can't make the text thicker. And so that isn't going to work for this purpose. So I'm, that's why I'm using this image that I downloaded. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to come here to say use selected image. Now don't forget we have our background in the back and here is our image in front. So we can now grab that image and we can um, use these arrows to determine where we want our image to be or we can just move it around like this. So I'm just going to click the middle and just put it in the center. I'm okay with that. And once you are, you can just come down here to the purple button and say add to design. So I'll click that now. And here is that image. And I'm going to add another page. I'm going to grab that image and bring it over here. And now we're going to go ahead and start adding to our design, but I'm going to make it bigger and we can see that there is that cutout uh, there. So let me just make that a whole lot bigger. Now we are able to change the color. So after we've done this too, so if you don't like that gray, you can still go into edit and you can modify the color using duotone. So let's go up to our photos. And let's grab a couple of photos and see what that might look like. So I'll just come here and I'll quickly put some photos in here so you can see what that's going to look like. Just make sure that your photos actually are the height of your letters. You'll want to make sure of that. Okay, now I'm going to grab this, the, the cutout that we created. I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to move that cutout all the way to the top like that. Here it is right here. And if you need to move the photos, you can click on the photo and you can just move them like that and reposition them if you need to. So uh, here is that one. I'm just going to move this over a little bit like that. And I'll take that one and just crop it a little bit. And then I'll take that one and I'll just move this one over a little bit like that. And now you can add to your design. So if you wanted to add um, the greatest dad of all time over here, you can do that with some added text. And if you wanted to add an outline or a border to the text, what you can do is you can select edit, you can go to shadow and you can click outline that will add an outline. Now, because this is a cutout, you might get that outline extending or on the bottom and on the top to get rid of that. Just resize it so it gets rid of that border. And over here, we can customize the size of the outline. If we come here, we can make it a little bit smaller like that. And you always have access to adjust the pictures when you need to. So we can see there's a little bit of that white line here. So we can just go to position and layers. We can grab that and we can just extend it a little bit. So we see more of the picture instead of the background behind. And again, if you want to change the color of the background, you can just click it 
go to edit, go to dual tone, and we can change it to any color that we want. And if you want to change it to white, come over here to custom and just change both the shadows and the highlights to white. So click on that and just bring it all the way up to the top. And the same with the black, bring it all the way to the top like that. So what did you think of this tutorial? Did you like it? Did you learn anything? If you did like it, press that thumbs up button. If you didn't, press the thumbs down button. That doesn't matter. I accept all types of engagement. Now I do go live twice a month at this time. If you're interested in joining my live classes, just leave a comment below and I'll give you more information. And if you're interested in more photo collage designs, just go to my YouTube channel and search for photo collages. There's a ton that I have created. All you have to do is search and watch those videos. And if you're interested in the template link for this design right here, I will also drop it in the comments and you can purchase it on my shop. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.